You're watching Around Town with Henry Dorman. Around Town is sponsored by Chemung Canal Trust Company. They're really nice people. Trust is their middle name. Service is their motto. And I like them a lot, and that's why I bank there. If you ever come by to look me up, I'll be in the vault. Safe place. Sometimes you wonder what to do in Steuben County. You hear about all of these places that are really interesting to see. Wine country, restaurants. But the fellow that knows all about what the new places are and what's exciting that you may not have seen is this fellow who is not only the Chamber of Commerce but the whole area banded together and you try to tell people what's the new exciting places to go, right? Yes, sir. Would you introduce yourself? Sure. And then all I'm going to do is sit back and he is a great salesman. <laughs> and he knows where all the bargains are for shopping, for dining, for just tourism, and where you get free parking. Free parking, that's always a tricky one, isn't it? <laughs> Well, my name is Dave DeGoyer, so it's nice to, to actually meet you. I've seen you on TV quite a bit, Mr. Dorman. Um, I work for an organization called Corning in the Southern Finger Lakes. We promote tourism for Steuben County, as you mentioned. So we work in concert with the local Chamber of Commerce, um, as well as Finger Lakes Wine Country. We're all on the same floor here in the building, so it works out great. We can mm -hmm. actually work together to promote some of the great things you just mentioned. Shopping, uh, you know, just downtown Corning has, uh, Market Street has about 100 different shops and restaurants and boutiques. Um, some have been around a while, some have been, are relatively new. Um, there are a couple new restaurants, you know, right here. Um, I just mentioned to someone, uh, Cugini's is a really neat cafe that actually is also, they have a dairy farm. It's called Cugini's. 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 Yep. And they own Golden Age Cheese, uh, which is a dairy farm. So they bring their products in and use them in some of the recipes, like great subs and sandwiches. They also have, um, you know, draft local craft beverages on, on tap. So it's kind of a really neat new place. It just opened up um, at the end of last year. So it's still relatively new. Mm. Yeah, but there's a lot of great places. Um, I also mentioned Park Ave Sports is kind of a neat place that a lot of people don't know about right here in Corning. And it's a great place for the family. They have miniature golf. They have water wars. They have this really cool laser tag. Um, opportunity to go out and kind of it's an obstacle course where you actually kind of go um, get teams and you kind of try and take each other out through late using laser tags so it's kind you of you can spend a whole week here you could oh absolutely yeah definitely I mean with this one kind of shop after another and so many places to eat yeah. wait till you I mean they have restaurants coming out of both sides of the street <laughs> yeah we do and, it, and really kind of any kind of foods you've got you know southern barbecue pizza uh, upscale tapas with wine, you know, a wine bar and tapas. You've got just uh, kind of old school diners uh, all right here on Market Street. Some eclectic, uh, Hand and Foot is a great place with some eclectic foods uh, that you wouldn't find in any place else around. Uh, so there's really a nice variety of, of options um, depending upon your budget and your tastes. Now, if people want more information, want to get, you have a great array of folders of all yeah. kinds. Yes, sir. Where do they find these? Where do they get copies? Where do they contact you? How if they want more information, do they call you and you give it all to them? Yeah, well, if they go to Corning Finger Lakes. You're very Lakes, good, you know, you explain things very well. Well, I appreciate that, sir. <laughs> uh, if you go to CorningFingerLakes.com, it's our website, um, you can find, there's a travel guide on there which has stuff about basically all of Steuben County, from the museums, the B&Bs, the restaurants, all that sort of thing. Um, there's also something about Tiffany and Treasure, so local glass, mm -hmm. whether it's the, you know, um, churches that have Tiffany Glass um, or the exhibit over at the Corning Museum of Glass, the new exhibition on Tiffany's mm -hmm. mosaics. There's information there. And there's also a lot on the craft beverage scene. Uh, the, it's called Craft Your Adventure. There are over 29 different craft breweries kind of just in the, in the local area here. Um, so people can actually go to the website and uh, upload those brochures mm -hmm. on their PDF form or they can actually call and we'll send them to them, you know, the hard copy. And they're all free? Yes, they're all free, Good. absolutely. Yep. What else should people know? Is it easy to park? And there are parking lots that are very easy there are, yeah, and very inexpensive. If uh, Some of them are free, depending on when you go. Weekends, I think, are free. Yep, weekends are free. After 5 are free. Uh, you know, there's parking on, on Market Street as well. After 5 and on weekends, that's free. Um, probably one of the best places to go if you're coming to the area to uh, to, to explore is the Corning Museum of Parking Lot Welcome Center. 
you know, you can park there for free. You can take a shuttle right from there to Corning Museum of Glass, over to the Rockwell Museum, and then right here on Market Street. And it's free. It runs all day, you know, through while the museums are open. And they have a new transportation center. There's a new transportation center just a few blocks over Is on Denison bus, Parkway. For buses? For buses, yes. Uh -huh. yep. Are there a lot of those? There are quite a few buses, yeah. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of travelers come up um, in, related to that to the Museum of Glass from New York City. So it's mm -hmm. a great stop on the way for uh, travelers, local and also international. And you must have a really interesting job I do. meeting so many people. How in the world did you get involved in this? And how, how, did, how long did it take you to get to know so much? Oh, well, I'm still learning a lot. Um, I've been doing this off and on for about five and a half, six years. Uh, I grew up in the area though, and um, I actually have a background in writing, so that's how I got the job, um, because I have to do a lot of writing and telling a lot of stories. So being a storyteller, uh, like yourself, um, is, is one of the, the things that I really enjoy. Going around and learning, I just basically go around as much as I can and try to learn the stories of these folks and then try and figure out ways that I can share it. So. Now, I hate to ask this, but yes. I do this often with people that we're interviewing. With your career and all the people that you've met and all the businesses you work with, there must be some kind of story that would be hilarious, embarrassing, unique, that would really make people laugh. Have you got one? Oh, geez, uh, a story for about me or about? No, a fun story that would make people laugh and want to know more about it. Oh, uh, wow. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to think about that for a minute. Uh, you know, I, I think, there's just, a, I think one of the things, I'll just say one of the things that makes me smile and I think that makes a lot of people smile is learning about all the, the local people here really uh, are proud of what they do and the fact they have a r real passion for the things they're doing but also for the region. And you know, I have travelers and writers who come all the time and they're always impressed by not just all the amazing activities to do and all the attractions, but the fact that there are so many people who basically promote the area, they're mm -hmm. ambassadors for the area, or just the local folks who will tell you, oh no, if you're here, you've got to go to this place too. They're not just about promoting themselves, and I think that, you know, if you go to one of the wineries, they'll say, oh, you've got to go here for lunch, you know, and if, if you go to one of the restaurants, they'll be like, you've got to go, you know, to yeah. the lake and make sure you get out on it, so it's, it's a lot of fun. And if they want to reach you, we have that again? Corningfingerlakes.com. Phone? 936-6544, uh, area code 607. Thank you very much. Oh, my pleasure. Nice to meet you. Great place to get fascinating information. And he knows all the bargains and when you can buy best, right? I know a few, yes. <laughs> Give him a call. I'll be working with him. Around Town with Henry Dorman will return in a moment. Life, it never stops moving. Getting from here to there. Managing long hours at work. Juggling a busy home. You need a bank that keeps up. That's Shimon Canal Trust Company. Bank online. Bank with our mobile app. Deposit a check with your smartphone. Open an account at Shimon Canal and bank with us anywhere, anytime. Shimon Canal Trust Company. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. People think I'm trash. But they're wrong. Today I'm just an aluminum can. But one day... I could be a stadium. Guess what? I have some news for you. There's free food right there. Junk food. You see that truck? Oh, jeez. It's a two Michelin star chef. All for free, ladies and gentlemen. All for free. Here we have a panzanella with summer vegetables and pesto. Enjoy. Okay. How we doing? Fantastic. So what do you got going on underneath that plate there? This food is really about to be thrown away. Yeah. Is there, is there something wrong with this food? Where did you get it from? From farmer's markets. They put aside the ugly vegetables and the ugly fruits. Yeah. Carrot top, soft avocados. It was all food that was going to be discarded. Even the drink you had is made from like a little bruised peach. Did it taste a little like bruised? Great. It was good. The average person throws away 24 pounds of food a month. That's a lot. Isn't that a lot? Go visit savethefood.com for more information. Thank you. Junk food time!
we now return to Around Town with Henry Dorman. You know, you're, you're driving along the highway and you see these stands and they have all kinds of good things in it. But I was driving along the other day and I saw a stand of stands. This is a stand that has everything and you've got to see it. And it's run by these two lovely young ladies. <laughs> and they have put all this together and they're going to introduce themselves and tell you where this stand is because when you come here, stay for lunch. They have wonderful restaurants nearby. You can hear the cars whizzing by. We have to talk fast because they're filled with customers. Cars pull in here all the time. Now, that's all I have to say. Now you have to introduce yourself and tell how you did this, when you're open, and everything else. And I have another question. <laughs> you have a nose ring. <laughs> did you, does that have a significance? No, it is. Okay. I have a nose ring. <laughs> okay. Introduce yourselves, take it over. It's all yours. All right. I'm Jesse Junko Beardsley, and this is my best friend, Jenny. And we've opened up Hector Handmade on the east side of Seneca Lake in Hector, New York. Which is near up the road from Watkins Glen? Yep. Right down the road from the Stone Cat Cafe and several wineries and bed and breakfasts. Breweries. And what have you got here? You have all kinds, of, including the chandelier, which is really <laughs> unusual. Well, everything in the shop is either made by Jesse or I in the shop or within 30 miles of the shop by other local makers. Um, we have things ranging from leather to bath and beauty to woodworking, um, iron, uh, jewelry, kind of the list goes on and on and it will always be changing as, as time goes by we'll get more stuff and new artists um, pretty much regularly. Uh, yeah, we also have a wall of fine art that we do an art show with every month and we're getting ready to have our first art show right now. Um, we want to keep a diverse uh, collection of things moving in and changing so that whenever you're here, you can come and see something new and different. And you're going to be open until you, through the winter, and what time do you, are you open? We're open Wednesday through Saturday from 10 to 6, and Sundays 12 to 5, and we're hoping to be open year-round. This is our first year, so we're not exactly sure what the weather's going to do in this old barn. And this old barn is all like brand new, and there's all kinds mm -hmm. of little nooks and crannies in it. Yeah, it's a 1930s gas station. Um, that went that was turned into a fruit stand for many years. Um, it was actually empty for about three decades, um, and we we opened up our our doors on June 28th, um, and you know the renovation has proved to to work really well. We the space is laid out perfectly so that we have a studio on one side of the shop, and we plan in the future um, to host regular workshops within the space where. Other, other locals can either teach their trade or come learn a new trade. Do you live around here too? <laughs> we both walk here every morning. We're, we're neighbors. Uh, luckily, we were lucky enough to end up next door to each other as childhood friends. And then we got even luckier to start a business next door to that. So we couldn't be closer and now, right in the heart of our community. If, if, if people want to find out things on the web or they want to talk to you on the phone, how do they find you? What's the web and, and what's the number? We don't have a website right now, but you can find us on... You've got a great voice. Thanks. <laughs> do you sing? No, <laughs> my husband does. <laughs> um, you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. And we are our phone number is 607-703-1228. And we'd love to talk to you. <laughs> Give us a ring. You have a... You both have such charm. <laughs> you know, it's like you're welcoming everybody, and you hear both of you all the time. Yes, yep. It's just Jesse and I that run the shop. Um, we're we're always in here working in our workshop. It's it's sort of meant to be a creative space overall. Um, and so on the front there, you have your where you make yeah, jewelry and correct. Yeah, all sorts of things happen in there, and and the know, office is upstairs. Yeah, we have a loft up. We have a loft that we do all of the. The not so fun business part of things in, but um, it has to be done. Um, like bookkeeping. Like bookkeeping, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so we're learning as we go. <laughs> um, but you know, Jessie's uh, has a, another business herself. She she's owned a clothing co um, design company for so several years now, which has been award winning. In fact, it's called mm -hmm. Themis and Thread. So you can find some of her things here. 
Um, and she does as much work in here as possible, but she also has a home studio too, because sometimes she, she sews on a very old sewing machine that's... that's Actually from the 30s, like this building. <laughs> yeah, We exactly. like uh, cool old things. <laughs> yeah, we definitely do. This place is meant to sort of celebrate that, reusing and making and supporting our, our community that is full of creative and talented people. So we wanted to be able to showcase all those things in, in one small spot. Yeah. And it's especially nice because they're here and their personality is in everything here. Mm -hmm. You go in, into little nooks and I, I keep saying they have more nooks and crannies than English muffins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with spaces surprisingly large considering how little it looks from outside and we're lucky because we have a big outdoor front space that we can fill with lots more good stuff. Um, so it's easy to see from the road that some, some things are happening in here. Um, what, is, what, is the, what are the best selling items? <laughs> well, so far, and we're about five weeks in, six maybe, um, we find that uh, soap is a big seller. Soap. soap. Mm -hmm. People Bar like bars soap. Of soap. Bars of soap. Um, Where all, do you get them from? Um, a local, actually, uh, specifically, uh, actually behind us uh, is the, a local girl that makes a lot of, of the stuff that's been selling really well. But really, a lot of the Bath & Beauty stuff has been selling. Anything made out of wood. Um, my father, cheese knives. Yeah, my father's a woodworker, and we have a lot of his things here, like cheese knives and cheese trays and beautiful handmade wooden spoons and other kitchen items that seem to go really well. Um, candles have also candles. been a big seller. Honestly, what's nice is that we've we, we found that every artist that we've had so far in these, these last few weeks have had, had, have had success. Um, like the, I think the diversity is good. There's... It's working for, for lots of different types of folks. And the, this coming fall will prove to, to be our busiest time of year up here on the wine trail. And we expect to see quite a bit of traffic. You say wine trail, so it's a lot of tourists that come too. Absolutely, yeah. We've seen a nice mixture of tourists and, and locals alike. Um, you know, the local gentlemen around here like to be able to shop as close to home as possible, <laughs> so they don't. They yeah, they like the convenience of being able to stop here and buy their wife a gift. It's been, which has been great to see. Um, but this this must have been a tremendous investment for two girls. We I have think a, of you as girls. Even <laughs> we're, that's we're fine. So young. Yeah, we'll take it. <laughs> um, mostly, it's a time investment. We have um, been really lucky to have an amazing landlord, yeah. and we're here. Um, the investment to the property was enormous. This is just a small part of a hundred acre farm that's mm. been in this community with uh, people who have big names that have been well respected for many, many, many generations. Mm. So we're happy that they've mm. taken the time to bring this back up to. Yeah, they did a lot for us to standard. be able to do this. You both have this sparkle in your <laughs> eye. You must love what you do. We're very, very happy to be yeah. here. This yeah. is this is definitely a dream for both of us. Um, and us being able to work here um, on our art while we're promoting and supporting other people's art is just an awesome opportunity. Absolutely. The personality, just, just to meet them, is enough to make you uh, up all day long. <laughs> so stop by right on the, the the fanciest roadside stand around for miles. <laughs> and that's the address again? 5344 State Route 414 in Hector, New York. Just down the road from Watkins Glen. Correct. I'm going to sit here now and, and bask in the sunshine for the rest of the day. <laughs> See you. <laughs> around Town with Henry Dorman will return in a moment.
Your Marine Corps' way of life is to defend the American way of life. Every day, no matter where we serve, we take a stand for our nation, for each other, for us all. The few, the proud, the Marines. Life, it never stops moving, getting from here to there, managing long hours at work, juggling a busy home. You need a bank that keeps up. That's Shimon Canal Trust Company. Bank online, bank with our mobile app, deposit a check with your smartphone, open an account at Shimon Canal and bank with us anywhere, anytime. Shimon Canal Trust Company, member FDIC, equal housing lender. We now return to Around Town with Henry Dorman. I have found a painter that does incredible things. She does portraits, portraits of animals, or, and portraits of people. This is a portrait of me that she's just <laughs> finished. I mean, can you see the likeness? I'd rather, I'd rather she tell you all about it. So what not, give me, give me one, <laughs> we're, we're bonding. Yes. Tell us I'm the name, but where they find things on the web, telephone number, and all the things you do in eight minutes. Take it away. Oh my gosh. No, eight minutes? Okay. Eight. Well, take more. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, She's a very fascinating lady. It, well, yeah, thank you. <laughs> and very talented. Um, okay, so, well, let's see. Uh, I, I started out as a graphic designer, um, painted murals for the last 15, 20 years, started out to uh, to stay home with my children, and it became my passion. And so your name is Barone. My name is Juanita Sanford Barone. I grew up on Big Creek. Juanita, Cornell, yeah. where did that come from? You know, I, I, I tell everybody that my dad was probably doing shots of tequila and ran out of names <laughs> because um, I, I, uh, I just, that I'm, I'm one of uh, six children and, oh. and no one has the unique name that I do. She, she is famous for doing murals. Yes. And she does murals for businesses outside and for homes outside and inside. Yep, and residential, commercial. And you can see um, them on the web, but tell your website and how they, should, um, how they can contact you. And then ex especially, if you're gonna paint some of these beautiful things, how much are they? Can they are they affordable? Oh, absolutely, they range. Um, uh, as far as a website, I don't have one up yet. I just moved back, so I'm, I'm still establishing my career. But uh, Juanita Barone Design, um, I have a Facebook page. Uh, I do... Uh, Painting parties. Uh, I what's a painting uh, party? A painting party is where you come and and have cocktails, and I teach you how to paint some of these wonderful paintings. Oh. Um, yep. Sounds like fun. It is fun. It is fun. I've I've gotten a lot of uh, a lot and of. And you good teach report. painting too. Yes, yes. I teach painting classes one on one. Um, I do a little bit of um, non structured art therapy, if you will. Um, suicide prevention is a huge really? uh, is a huge passion of mine. Um, so. So I I'm never knew art could have so many uses. Oh, sure, sure. Um, suicide this, sound, this sounds very expensive, though, even to take a class. No, not really. What um, does it cost to take a class? To take a class, it's pro it usually runs from uh, $45 an hour, something mm -hmm. like that. But it, the more hours they do it, the, the cheaper I do. And, um, and I just try to, you know, I, I want to get the art out there and into, into people's hands and help them to realize, you know, what strength they have within it themselves. But well, you have a lot of fun thing. I mean, you're a fun painter. All of these things have an amusement yeah. to them. They yep, a, yep. A color smile is, is, color is my world, you know. It's <laughs> I wake up in the morning and, you know, I just... And you see the world in color. Yeah, I do. I do. I think, I think it's important. That's to nice. There's too many people see it only black and white. That's right. Well, it's nice That's to right. see it. Get going, cheer. people. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Now, where can people contact you? Um, well, I have a, uh, my phone number is 585-472-4653. Uh, uh, like I said, I have a Facebook page, Juanita Barone Design. 
Um, and yeah, contact me. Um, I'd love to get some murals in Hornell. I'd love to, uh, you know, to, to just make our, our community beautiful. Hornell, Alfred, mm -hmm. um, I'm, I'm working with uh, Most Arts today, um, doing a children's mural project. So I'm scooting back up to Alfred after this to, mm -hmm. uh, to, to do day two of, of, of painting with mm -hmm. wonderful kids, which is just an amazing Wonderful really kids. Fun. Yeah, they're just, it's, it, kids are so much fun to paint with. Um, they just, they just. Do you give them classes or? No, I, I have a huge mural spread out on the ground in, in Alfred uh, and under a, under a, uh, a I guess it, they call it the uh, bandstand. But um, the kids come out and I have some pre-designed stuff and they paint it. And today I'm working with older kids, so I told them to be prepared to uh, give me some ideas. Let and, them throw some stuff And I'm there. looking at you as a painting teacher. You haven't got a swab of paint on your arms or any place. <laughs> well, give me 10 minutes. When, <laughs> the kids, when the kids come, that's going to change. <laughs> Mostly I do. Yeah, mm -hmm. if, you, if I look hard enough, you will find paint on me. <laughs> You're the only person I know, and we go to Elmira and all around the viewing area, that really does what you do with the lessons and the murals and everything else. Uh, yeah, I, I, I probably should be narrowing myself down, but um, I haven't yet, so I'm just letting it take me. Is the mural you're working on with the kids now going to be someplace specific? Uh, well, we're still working on that. It's going to be a place somewhere in Alfred. Um, mm -hmm. and it's, it's part of the Most Arts, uh, the Alfred's Most Arts. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that, but um, Lisa Lance heads that, and she's going to find an amazing place to, to land mm -hmm. it, and, and it'll be up for the kids to come back and, and see for years and years and years, and they have their handprints and their names and their dates their hand on prints it. And, and wow. Yep, so they've signed them. They're and immortal. Signed, sealed, and delivered. That's right. It's going to be a it's going to be a great part of Alfred. Are you looking for new places to have murals? Yes, yes. Um, I, I would love to have more in communities, actually, um, and uh, you know, homes. You know, I, I plan on having many in my own mm -hmm. home again. I used to have them almost in every room of my old house. So, yeah. So you're looking for people to contact you for a place to put the murals. Yeah, or ideas. And I mean, ideas, they need ideas. And and, and uh, some way of funding the murals. Yep, right. yep, government. So you're, you're not doing this for free. Uh, no, no, no. I, I, I'm a well, starving know. artist, you know. That is, <laughs> <laughs> that is the truth. But uh, no, I, 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 I hope to make this my paying job. I quit my corporate job in September of last year to pursue my mm -hmm. patients. So. So this is it, you know. This is How's it this going? is it. So far, well, with the move to Hor to Hornell, it's I'm, I'm I'm finding myself regenerating, you know, again. But I was in I was in Canandaigua. I had a studio up there, and I'm I have I still have people up there that I work with. So it's going well. It's going very well. well somebody once said, "I plan to live forever." So far, so good. That's right. That's right. I plan to live forever, and, keep, and I plan to paint forever. So well. I'm good. You are a very talented lady. Thank you. I don't know, did you get all of these wonderful on camera? I wanted them to see this because you are kind of a fun artist. Yeah, well, you know, you gotta have fun. Life's That's too the main hard. thing. That's right. Keep us young. That's right. That's right. Thank you very much. Thank you. I now, appreciate it. How much your time. is this if we bought this? How much uh, is this? I would sell that to you. I would give it to you. But for no. sixty five dollars is what I usually get for uh, that size. That's very nice. Yeah. Good. Fun stuff. We may have to do some business. <laughs> yes. we'll see, I'll be here buying paintings. <laughs> maybe a mural, maybe a mural. Yeah, that would be awesome. Watch my house. <laughs> Watch the studio. The studio would be a great place for a mural. That's right. The television, imagine a mural in the television studio. Oh, yeah, that yeah. would be awesome. You'd give them a special price. Absolutely. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Of Are you kidding here? I, I, the the first one's always less because you want to, you want to draw people in. So, <laughs> just kidding. We'll no. see you soon. <laughs>